Hello students, now I will discuss some MCQ question and answer on chemical energetics or enthalpy change. Uh, this will be very helpful for you and you will practice these questions. Please subscribe, like and share my channel. Let's move. First, number one, when an acid is added to an alkali, the temperature rises. Temperature rise. So, this is exothermic reaction. You know, in exothermic reaction, temperature rises. Alkali and acid, this is ne neutralization reaction. So, when an acid reacts with an alkali, that reaction is neutralization reaction and when temperature rises, this reaction will be exothermic reaction. So, answer, correct answer is D. Now, Number 2, which diagram shows a process in which an endothermic change is taking place? Endothermic, you know burning candle heat produced, this is exo, rocket uses fuel, this is exo, sodium reactive metal, if you add, add water, heat is produced, this also exothermic reaction. But when ice melt, it take ice takes heat. So this is endothermic process. Answer will be B. Number three, which process is an endothermic process? So burning hydrogen any burning means reaction with combustion combustion reaction with oxygen this will be exothermic reaction with potassium with water any metal reacts with water this heat produce so potassium is more reactive Exp explosion happens so this is ex exothermic process petrol using petrol in a motor car engine so petrol uses burn produces energy this also exo and distilling petroleum separation of petroleum distill means heat needed petroleum is heated and con and converted to gas and it is separated according to the, their boiling point so here distillating petroleum separation of petroleum heat is needed energy is needed that's why this is an endothermic process. Next, the diagram shows some laboratory equipment, balance, stop clock and this is the number 3 thermometer. Whose equipment is needed to find out whether dissolving a salt in water is an endothermic process. This you, we have to measure temperature, so thermometer is needed. This is the correct answer. An endothermic process means temperature will be decreases. So to measure temperature decreases or change in temperature, we need thermometer. Number 5, clouds are formed when water vapor evaporates from the sea, I mean water goes to gas. So sea water goes to water gas and to form clouds. So liquid goes to gas, heat is needed. Question is asking what is the 
energy change and what name is given to the type of change when water if water become gas or water evaporates this water turns liquid goes to gas energy is taken in and this process is known as endothermic heat energy produce released exothermic heat energy taken in absorb that will be endothermic number 6 who is process is not exothermic burning fossil fuel if you burn fossil fuel burning means reaction with oxygen all are com all are exothermic reaction and radioactive decay this also produces heat ex exothermic reacting hydrogen with oxygen reacting with oxygen means combustion any combustion reaction is exothermic process so b obtaining lime from limestone limestone is calcium carbonate calcium carbonate is limestone so if you give heat its breakdown to produce calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide carbon dioxide so to get lime from limestone heat is needed this process is is endothermic process that means this process is not exothermic because here heat is not produce here heat is needed to break down calcium carbonate heat is needed so this is not an exothermic process which fuel need oxygen in order to produce heat energy and which type of which type of reaction produces the energy and which fuel needs oxygen hydrogen fuel hydrogen reacts with oxygen to produce water is hydrogen fu hydrogen fuel cell plus energy energy is produce energy so who is fuel needs oxygen hydrogen fuel needs oxygen to burn water to produce water and energy is given out so this hydrogen answer and this process is known as exothermic when hydrogen burn in oxygen hydrogen reacts with oxygen this any burning reaction or reacts with oxygen this is known as combustion this process is exothermic process number 8 some reaction are listed methane oxygen carbon dioxide plus water this is combustion reaction exothermic sodium reacts with water sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen metal reactive metal reacts with water heat is produced this is exothermic reaction magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid magnesium chloride plus hydrogen this also exothermic reaction so which word correctly describes all of these reactions all these three reactions are exothermic reaction means heat is produced any methane any alkene if you burn in oxygen heat produce reactive metal reacts with sodium 
रिएक्टिव मेटल से सोडियम रिएक्ट्स विथ वाटर टू प्रोड्यूस सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड प्लस हाइड्रोजन हीट इज प्रोड्यूस मैगनेशियम रिएक्ट्स विथ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड मैगनेशियम क्लोराइड प्लस हाइड्रोजन दिस ऑल्सो एक्जोथर्मिक रिएक्शन नेक्स्ट The diagram show the difference in energies of reactant and products in two types of reaction. You know, diagram one heat taken in means endothermic reaction, and you know, and endothermic reaction product has more energy, reactant has less energy. And he, he, diagram two heat given out. This is exothermic reaction and you know in exothermic reaction product has less energy product has less energy reactant has more energy now question is asking you which diagram and which type of energy change apply to a fuel burning in air you know when you any fuel burn in air this rea this reaction is exothermic reaction any burning reaction so diagram 2 because heat is given out and also product has less energy than the reactants so diagram 2 and this reaction is type of reaction is exothermic reaction means heat given out Number 10, the diagram shows a match by striking the match a chemical reaction take place and you know here also heat is produced whose statement about the chemical reaction are correct. This is striking the match exothermic reaction because heat is given out, heat is produced. Next, number 11, a diagram for the energy change during an exothermic reaction is shown here. Product has less energy, reactant has more energy. So, this is the diagram for ex exothermic energy level diagram for which reaction would this be an appropriate diagram. So, this diagram is this diagram is for exothermic reaction and you see already I told methane burn in oxygen this is exothermic reaction hydrogen burn in oxygen any burning reaction is exothermic reaction carbon burning in oxygen to form carbon dioxide plus heat these all three reactions are exothermic reaction because heat is given out heat is produced or heat is released so answer will be d all of them now number 12 the diagram shows the reaction between zinc oxide and dilute hydrochloric acid neutralization reaction here pH 1 temperature is 20 degree centigrade now before after pH 7 neutral salt has been formed and temperature 22 degree centigrade that means 2 degree increases so this is an exothermic reaction now which term describe this reaction this is an and endothermic no this wrong because temperature rises 22 goes to 22 20 20 degree centigrade goes to 22 degree centigrade 2 degree centigrade temperature increases temperature rises 
and also this is new neutralization reaction because neutral salt is formed and also zinc oxide basic oxide basic oxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce salt and water zinc chloride salt plus water this is neutralization reaction so answer will be c now number 13 acetylene is a hydrocarbon when acetylene and oxygen react when oxygen react combustion with oxygen that reaction will be ex exothermic reaction the hot flame produced can be used to weld steel which statement is correct acetylene and oxygen reacts exothermically i mean acetylene is a hydrocarbon when hydrocarbon burn in oxygen this reaction is exothermic reaction heat energy produced now when anhydrous copper to sulfate means oh, anhydrous means without water is a, is added to water a solution is formed and heat is given out heat is given out means exothermic reaction so which row correctly shows the temperature change and the type of reaction given out heat when heat given out heat produce temperature will be increases and as heat energy is given out heat is given out reaction is exothermic reaction so answer will be d now next Fifteen. When ammonium nitrate is is added to water, the temperature of water decreases. As as temperature decreases, so this reaction will be endothermic reaction. The ammonium nitrate can be recovered by evaporating the water added. So whose explanation this observations? the ammonium nitrate dissolve in water and the process is endothermic when ammonium nitrate dissolve in water as temperature of water decreases so this is an endothermic process endothermic reaction now 16 some white anhydrous copper to sulfate powder is put into a beaker of water and stirred what would show that the process is exothermic and you know heat is produced so if you touch it you feel warmer you feel hot the c is the correct answer the beaker feels warmer the beaker feels hot when as the process is exo exothermic so heat will be produced and the beaker feels warmer the beaker feels hot seventeen who is a statements about exothermic and and endothermic reaction are correct number one during an exothermic reaction heat is given out this is true the temperature of an endothermic reaction goes up because heat is taken in no goes down this wrong when heat ta taken in temperature goes down too wrong number 3 burning methane in air is an exothermic reaction this is true so answer will be c 1 and 3 is the correct answer
now what occurs when a fuel burns fuel burns means fuel reacts with oxygen yes and when fuel burn this process is exothermic means heat given out heat produced or heat released next Nineteen. Some reaction are endothermic. How does the temperature and energy change in an endothermic reaction? Temperature, you know, decreases as endothermic reaction heat is taken in, so temperature decreases, and energy change will be energy taken in or absorbed. now two chemical process are described below in the combustion of methane you know any combustion of alkane methane ethane energy is produced energy is given out so b is correct answer energy is given out number 2 in the electrolysis of molten Lead to bromide. Energy is taken in. Why? Molten lead to bromide to move lead ion, bromide ion, and to continue electrolysis process, we have to supply heat. This means ele electrolysis process. This energy is is taken in. Energy is absorbed. or energy is taken in okay thank you students dear students thank you